Howdy folks, welcome back to Shallow Pocket Shakers. Today we'll do a little review on this solar light. My thoughts on it. And how it's been working for me. <clears throat> I've been running it in, in the induction mode. Which it's on your remote. For a two hour time, four hour and I think it's an all night in induction mode. It's on all the time. Dimly. And then when it detects motion, it gets brighter. It throws off plenty of light for up here for outside at night. For my needs. I'd say it's well worth spending the 60 bucks on. I've been using it for about six months now, so come winter time if it don't charge enough to stay on all night I may change my mind on it but so far it's been doing good there ain't really a whole lot of instructions with it it tells you to turn it on but there is a switch right here before you charge it I don't really know if it makes a difference or not if you hit it I can't can't tell you that this little white patch will glow green once it's fully charged. I did find that out. And the only problem I've had with it was getting it to actually turn on at night to start out with. And let me get the remote. I'll show you the remote and we'll go over what I had problems with. Now, you may have to push the button on the light to get it to charge. But on the remote, you got an off, a two hour, four hour, six hour induction, and an always. And I hung my light up, charged it, then couldn't get it to come on at night. I played around with that remote, hitting every button, and couldn't get it tried two or three different times. So I thought I'd tear it apart. Well, you can't tear the light itself apart because it's all sealed together. The plastic's welded together. And then I tore the remote apart. Everything looked to make a connection in there. So I waited until nighttime came and I tried again. Couldn't get it to work. Well, I took it down a second time. And Barry bought the light for us for Christmas last year. So he was going to take it and see what he could do with it. He took it down. And started playing around with it in his Jeep. And the thing come on. So I don't know if I just didn't have the remote close enough to it. Or wasn't lined up with the sensor and the light itself or what. Because every time he would try it, it would turn on and off. So we brought it back up and put it back up. And I still went through the buttons two or three times before I finally got it to turn on for me. And it's been working ever since. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> One thing I didn't mention about this light is you got to buy the brackets and mount them separate so keep that in mind when you're ordering one unless you got a piece of pipe you're going to mount it on if you're going to need a bracket to mount it on you got to order them separate 